Hi there, my name is Noah, and I've been working in customer service for about four years now, and I have a little bit of a problem that I need to tell you about. This problem involves 90% of the people that I deal with on a daily basis because they're all stupid. That includes some of you. Some of you people out there right now, you're dumbasses. You're a bunch of stupid motherfuckers that don't know how to order food and you don't know how to deal with another person that's trying to help you. Now with that out of the way, I should say that I do my best not to be frustrated and I can generally deal with most people's bullshit without getting flustered or irritated in any sort of way. Probably because I've been doing it for such a long time. But my problem comes in with those very few people that just have no clue how the world actually works. They just have no common sense, and they have no... Oh, did I just... Yeah, that's good. The point I'm making is that there are people out there that don't understand how to make a sandwich. There are people out there that don't understand when you put an order into somewhere. Let's say you call into your pizza place, your local pizza restaurant. Let's say that they have options for stuff. You don't call, and then when they say, hey, this is X company's pizza, how can I help you? You don't then say, oh, hi, hey, Jimmy, what did you want on your pizza? That's not what you do. You get everything ready, and then you call and you give them your order. College Humor had a great bit on this. It's so frustrating dealing with people that don't know what the fuck they want because you just, you know how simple it is. At least for me. For me, having worked in it, I know how simple it actually is. You don't need to have food service knowledge. You don't need to have customer service knowledge. All you need is common sense and a little bit of sensibility to you. A little bit of, hey, let me consider the other person's time just a little bit. You know, I'm here at home in my free time with my family or friends. I'm going to be prepared to call them. I'm going to be prepared when I walk into the store and try to order a sandwich. No, no, that's ridiculous. Why would you possibly even think that? How is that even something that goes through your head? That you'd be prepared, that you'd know what you're doing. Fuck you, medication alarm. <sighs> it's just, it's absurd. The stupid shit that people do on a daily basis. It just baffles me because it's so inconsequential, but in the end, so many people do it that it becomes an issue. You, you think to yourself, am I the strange one? Am I the one doing things wrong? Am I supposed to go into a place with no prior knowledge of how to order food? That's another thing. People tell me all the time, I've never done this before. You're like 67 years old. How have you never fucking ordered food before? And on top of that, you're ordering stuff for an event. How shitty is your family that they let you, the old ass woman whose husband used to do everything for her before she died, how do they let you order all the food for the event knowing that you've never done it before? It blows my mind. It really is. It's an unsustainable environment. Because every single person that I work with is on the brink of losing their mind every single day, including myself. And I do a really good job of not getting frustrated with people. But there's just a few people that are so oblivious to the fact that they live in a society with other humans. It's frustrating. It's very frustrating. And I, I always come back to this quote from Marcus Aurelius. When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. They are like this because they can't tell good from evil. But I have seen the beauty of good and the ugliness of evil, and have recognized that the wrongdoer has a nature related to my own, not of the same blood or birth, but the same mind, and processing a share of the divine. And so none of them can hurt me. No one can implicate me in ugliness, nor can I feel angry at my relative or hate him. We were born to work together, like feet, hands, and eyes, like two rows of teeth, upper and lower. To obstruct each other is unnatural. To feel anger at someone, to turn your back on him, these are obstructions. Now what that says is that feeling angry towards someone, it's natural, but feeling anger over something like this is not necessary. 
You don't need to feel angry, but it is an, it's, it's a response that seems so fitting in the moment. But with that quote, you realize that they are just people living their own lives, doing the same thing that you're doing, just trying to make ends meet, just trying to get by. It's just so hard to not get frustrated with these people. They don't, they don't understand what's going on around them. They're, they're blind to the reality that they need to have a basic comprehension of conversation in order to order a sandwich. Like, you can't order a sandwich? But it's fine. It's okay. I can't expect them to fulfill my standards of what a person should be because they're not me. As frustrating as it is, I cannot be frustrated with them because without people like that, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. You know? Whatever, that's all I wanted to say. See you later. Have a good night.